What's going on everyone? Talon here and welcome to another uniform review video. All right, so we have three new uniforms with this update to take a look at. In this video here, we're going to be taking a look at the first uniform, which is going to be Colossus. Uh, so here we have Colossus's Phoenix 5 uniform, and it's, uh, yeah, looking pretty badass. I like the look of this uniform. This The metal looks really nice on uh, Colossus here, and also, of course, I like the color scheme. Uh, that kind of red and gold is just really pop, so yeah, it looks really cool. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at the uniform effects here. So the uniform effects are going to be uh, immunity to fracture, decrease all damage received by 30%, and it's going to enhance the effects of his four-star passive. Um, so the only change there is going to be the four-star passive enhancements because he already had the immunity to fracture and decrease damage received by 30% with his previous uniform. Uh, we're having five skill changes going on here. The first skill here, it looks like we're adding that all defense down uh, which is nice the second skill uh, I think the second skill already had all defense down but I think it had um, penetration before so I think we're losing the penetration yeah we're losing the penetration but we yeah keep the all defense down and yeah see there's no all defense down on that skill and then the third skill here I believe is exactly the same it's just going to have just a little bit of an animation change. Yeah, so all the text here is going to be the same on the third skill. So basically, we are adding a skill with um, the all defense down, which is pretty nice. So we'll be able to stack this up quite effectively because those are for four seconds. And for four seconds, uh, we have the same thing here. Then the fourth skill, we are getting uh, the penetration, but we're actually losing an effect on the fourth skill here. We're losing his damage immunity that he used to have, which is kind of annoying. Uh, he used to have four seconds of damage immunity on his fourth skill, and now it is uh, gone, nowhere to be found. So yeah, I'll have to see what the fourth skill actually looks like to see how much of a nerf that's going to be. But then the fifth skill here, they have a ton of effects, and I believe all the effects are pretty much the same as before. So it's just going to be a skill change because I think all of those buffs and enhancements uh, are the same because he always had that ignore dodge by 100%. He had the penetration before, and I believe he had the damage accumulation on this skill as well. So yeah, all of that is looking pretty much the same. So let's just look at the skill animation changes and see what's going on here with those. So the first skill... So he gets like two extra hits. So previously it was one, two, and that was the end of the skill. So now he gets two extra hits at the end with this uh, uniform here. Adds a little bit of kind of the flame effects. So nothing too crazy there. No iframe, nothing like that. It just adds two extra hits. And then the second skill. Uh, yeah, this one is definitely completely different. So it is going to be an iframe, a delayed iframe. He hops to the side and then he jumps into the air flies around and kind of rains down some fire from above and it is an iframe for pretty much all of it you can't move right away so you're going to be vulnerable at the start of the skill and the end of the skill so you're definitely going to want to cancel into something else and then the third skill is pretty much exactly the same it just has some kind of fire effects added to it but it's pretty much the same skill except at the end there instead of doing like um uh, just like punching the ground and having kind of the ground split a little bit and knock the enemy backwards. Instead, it makes some ground spikes or some earth spikes come out of the ground. So just a little bit of a change there. Nothing too crazy. Um, and then the fourth skill. Oh, yeah, this is a skill with Wolverine hopping in. Yeah, this skill is awesome. I like this skill right here. Um, I really like those team-up skills. They look really cool. Um, it is a delayed iframe, but he does get into an iframe, so he's got some protection for this skill um, since he lost the damage immunity, but I would have preferred to have some damage immunity on this skill. I don't know why they got rid of it, because now he's only got the two seconds of damage immunity in the third skill. It's the only way to protect himself, except for the iframes. He did gain that iframe on the second skill because he did not have that previously, but does gaining two iframes really warrant getting rid of his four seconds of damage immunity because previously his fourth skill was also a delayed iframe he'd kind of do a hit and then he'd jump into the air that would be an iframe and then he'd do another hit but he'd be out of iframe so it's kind of like an iframe in the middle of his uh hits so i don't know i don't really like them getting rid of the damage immunity i would have preferred it to just still be there um all right so another fifth skill okay Okay, so the fifth skill hasn't really changed much at all, except for the flame effects. He still does the same kind of spin around and grabs the exact same chunk of ground and just uh, throws it on their head. So yeah, pretty much exact same skill animation, 
uh, except the actual like effects are a little bit different or a little the uh, kind of flame effects are the only thing that's changed because the spin and the ground is exactly the same and then you just get the extra fire uh, animation and then the fire damage at the end there because we have the kind of yeah fire coming out of the ground that hits a few times right there so yeah it's gonna definitely increase his damage by a lot because previously he didn't have very many hits all of his skills just did like two or three hits so none of his skills were really getting a lot of hits in there but now as you can see here his skills are getting a lot more hits in there so he's definitely gonna have a huge increase in damage just because of the amount of hits now that he's able to do with this uniform so yeah his damage is definitely looking like it's gonna take a uh, take a spike but I'm not sure about the survivability I mean he got rid of that four seconds of immunity which was really really nice when you're previously trying to keep Colossus alive so I'm not sure if I really like that but overall the uniform looks awesome it's definitely going to be his most powerful uniform by far um, if you want to use Colossus more offensively then this definitely looks like the choice to go with um, defensively just because he got rid of that immunity I'm just not feeling it too much for that but you know, the damage will probably outweigh that, so it'll definitely still do a lot better. Oh, and we didn't talk about the 4-star passive. That's also a big draw for this uniform right here to make you probably want to pick this up, and that is the change to the uh, passive is now going to be kind of decrease all damage uh, received by 50%, uh, because previously it was just re reduce all damage received by supervillains by 50%, but now it says supervillains and superheroes. So that's pretty nice. So now you can use him if you're having trouble surviving with certain uh, characters, say in like Warboss Ultimate or something like that. You can just throw Colossus in the team. And now, well, Warboss Ultimate is always villain. So anywhere that there's a hero now, so timeline or PvP will probably be more useful now because then he can do that for uh, super heroes that are attacking you. So that's definitely going to be really nice. But besides that, um, uniform, yeah, like I said, it looks really nice. His damage is going to get a boost. I'm not sure about the survivability really um, being much better. It's probably going to be a bit worse. Um, and then his passive looks amazing. And that's pretty much my thoughts on the uniform. Um, for now, I am actually not going to be picking up this uniform just because I don't play Colossus very much. And I have him built right now for kind of... Uh, pvp just to kind of tank and survive so i don't know the damage or the uh, uniform just doesn't seem to appeal to me personally right now i probably will pick it up like during black friday when all the uniforms are on sale but for now it's going to be just sitting here on the sidelines but anyway if you picked up the uniform uh yeah let me know in the comments below if you're really liking it if the damage is a lot better which i'm thinking the damage is definitely gonna be a lot better but i'm very curious about the survivability let me know if you're having trouble uh keeping him alive maybe a little bit longer in world boss ultimate if you're finding it's affecting his survivability in world boss ultimate because i'm kind of curious about that uh, but anyway that's going to be it for this video here i've kind of rambled on long enough i hope you guys enjoyed and of course i will catch you in the next one